Hi, Caleb. What do you think about coming to the Y? Great. I like to swim and jump. Caleb and I have been coming here for probably going on two years now. Caleb has autism, and, and actually coming to the Y is part of his schooling. Um, he's homeschooled, so this is the physical education part of it. I think between Caleb, myself, and my other son, we had about 400 visits at the Y last year. I'm in recovery from drug addiction, and when I first got into recovery, I thought of it as I want to be healthy, and it definitely was helpful to think of it that way. And uh, so in every way, food-wise, um, exercise-wise, the type of people I was around, which the Y brings me closer to people who are focused on health and other positive things. So the race for Chase was something that we had received in the mail and also through her school. as something that the YMCA was offering for the summer. And Olivia had the paper and she says, I want to do this. I want to run a triathlon. So I asked Coach Matt about Olivia because Olivia didn't know how to swim. She didn't know how to ride a bike. And although she did gymnastics and played soccer, running was not her favorite sport. So we didn't think she was really appropriate to do Race for Chase last year. But Olivia is a little bit determinant and consistent and she was demanding that she tried. So we came for the first week and Olivia was wearing her float and she was using training wheels. But after two weeks, she learned how to ride a bike without training wheels and she learned how to swim without her floaty. So Race for Chase did a lot for her on a personal level. I um, have gained so much from coming here, not just losing weight. Um, I have a lot more confidence in myself. I just feel better in general. My health is so much better mentally and physically. And um, I love everyone here. I've made a lot of friends in Aquasize. I've made friends with the people who work here the lifeguard, uh, <laughs> everyone. So it's really um, just a really special place for me. And I, I was very hesitant about joining the Y because I'm older and my weight was an issue for me. So um, just that I started coming was a big deal. And now uh, it's just like second hand to me to do. I came to the Y because my son had not many other options. He has behavioral issues. So when I came here, I was like apprehensive to send him to another daycare because he kept getting kicked out. But when I brought him here, they were like, well, we'll do our best. You know, we'll see what we could do for him and try to accommodate his needs. And they have been amazing. He's been here four years. They have helped him in so many ways. He's grown here. He does the summers here. He's done preschool. He's done kindergarten. He does after school care now. because He's now seven. So they've been really amazing. I have uh, medical issues with my back and my spine, but since I'm doing the classes, I've gotten a lot stronger. Uh, I can do my groceries without having to run to take a pain pill. <laughs> and it's really, it's amazing. I mean, people tell me, it's like, you know, you're getting older, but you're getting younger. And the trainers incorporate balance and physics. Like your foot might be going in one direction, but they have your arms going in the opposite. So you're constantly having to think. It's not just a motorized, robotic kind of thing. You, you know, when you have to use your brain in two different directions, it really makes your brain sharper. I have three kids. Um, Cheyenne is almost 14. Sky is eight. And Brandon is 12. And they've been involved in Y camps for the past 10 years, and this will be their third year at Camp Wawa. I would absolutely recommend it. I think just the exposure to different kids and to different counselors, the fact that there are so many international counselors was fantastic. I remember first walking in and meeting some of them, and just having the sense that my kids were being totally exposed to a group of wonderful Spanish kids, a great Brazilian kid who 
I never quite understood if he could see us or not, because <laughs> he was so active and so involved with the kids that, you know, the parents were the least important part. All of staff is very kind to Caleb, right? Yeah. And actually, the Y is very good family time for us, and I recommend it to everybody. If it wasn't for the Y, I wouldn't feel as healthy. If it wasn't for the Y, I wouldn't be able to be a working, successful single mom. I would not have as many friends that I have, um, and I would not be, I just wouldn't be in as good a shape as I am. I wouldn't be as healthy as I am, I wouldn't be as strong as I am, and I wouldn't be as happy as I am. If it wasn't for the Y, I wouldn't have learned how to run more than just five minutes, and how to ride my bike without training wheels, and how to swim in the deep end and dive off the diving board without a floaty. How to do it again. <laughs> I love the fact that my kids have somewhere to go and to be themselves and to come home with stories every night.